suppose I now wanted to rotate the barbell. What I like to do is I like to have one group take care of the translation and then another group take care of the rotation or the scaling or both of those. So what I would do here is I would put a group inside the other group and let's see if I can move these over. Okay, all right. So anyway, I have an outer group and an inner group and then everything is inside that inner group. And I'm using the outer group to translate and I'm gonna use this one to rotate. So there you have it. And I think that approach can, can simplify things a lot sometimes. Then you don't have to worry about the interaction between translation and rotation and or scaling. Now you can mix up rotation and scaling here, no problem, doesn't matter what order. So maybe I'll go 0.5. The problem is with translate and these two. So I kind of like to separate them and use different groups to handle each function. So um, that basically does it for SVG. I think that's all we have to know for right now. And in the next playlist, we're going to start to work with D3.